So we're here at Bud and Mary's. This is where I grew up at. It's my family's marina. My dad's had it since 1978. And uh, you know, the marina's been here since 1944, so it's been around a long time, over 75 years. We're gonna go visit Uncle Lenny first in the shop here. Come on, Sadie. So this is the marina office and the tackle shop. We don't sell a lot of tackle, it's a small selection. Tons of pictures in here on the wall, as you can see. We got t-shirts for sale. We got drinks over here. We got snacks. Some pelagic gear, some beer. Leonard? Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm doing fine, sir. I, Thank you. Very I got much. the camera on you. You're on camera. He's taking my money. I'm There's Leonard. The money. It's Captain Dave. Hi, everybody. I'm taking the money. Leonard's taking it. all my money. <laughs> That's all the money you got. Leonard's oh. going to spend it at the racetrack. People call here. They get these guys and girls in here. They book the fishing charters here and uh, all the hotel rooms and those houseboats that we got for rent as well. But lots of pictures up in here over the years. We got some clothing in here. All right, Leonard's got something he wants to say. Right, See you later, Dave. Lenny, like, what do you want to say? I would like to say this. To bring it to the attention of the American public about Bud and Mary's been here 75 years. We're going to be here another 75 years. And if you want to fish and you want to have a great time in the Florida Keys, this is the place to come. But this is a great place for your kids and children. And it's like being on an island in some other country, but it's, it's America. Though. Come back and see us, and we love you. Thank you. There you go. So that's Uncle Lenny right there. Phones are ringing here. You got the snacks in here for the kids. So this is a little fuel dock up front here. The boats come to get their fuel. Little shrimp tank right here. Shrimp, pinfish, crab, a certain time of year. There's rental boats here. Um, I don't know water sports the name of the company that runs all them. But there it is, Bud and Mary's Marina. Been here a long time. Let's go check out some of the boats here. Come on, Sadie. There you go. So that's the dive boat right here. Diving and snorkeling. Most of these boats are owner operator here. Um, we just own a few of the boats ourselves, but a lot of these guys have been here 20 to 30 years. They run their own business. We help book them and they book themselves as well. There's like 18 offshore charter boats here and there's about 25 backcountry slash inshore charter boats here. This is our family boat. My uncle Scott runs it. Um, we did that one video where we caught the African pompano and sailfish on it last year in November. But that's how I grew up fishing with really was my uncle Scott and my dad. So they really taught me a lot about fishing. This is the Miss Almirada. This is the group fishing boat, what we call a party boat and just a head boat they take up to 49 people an affordable way to get out in the water and go fishing and usually catch dinner fish like snappers porgies a few mackerel occasionally a grouper so let's go check out the rest of the property come on sadie and sadie's walking these docks now just like i did when i was a kid this is where they got the frozen bait in here they got shrimp squid chum mullet stuff like that these are more of the offshore charter boats right there come on sadie over here. And one really cool thing is here at the marina, there's always tarpon here, almost always, except when it gets really cold. But you can see the tarpon down there swimming around. What do you think, Sadie? You like the tarpon? Look at them down there. Well, when the boats come in from fishing, I mean, they throw all the scraps in, the tarpon eat all the scraps. So sometimes there's a hundred or more tarpon in here. There's sharks, there's birds, fish, sometimes even manatees too, which you've probably seen in my other videos. This is what we call a guide dock down here. This is a skiff dock or the guide dock. These are all the backcountry guides or the inshore guides. So there's 24 boats right here. Keep on going, baby. Oh, look at all the fish in here. There we go. There we go. Tarpon. Say tarpon, Sadie. There they are. And this is private property, so we don't let people fish on our docks or nothing like that. But uh, it's pretty cool seeing all the fish swim around. So this is the bigger fuel dock. This is where all the boats come to get their diesel. You know, there's a diesel pump here like that. And then there's a gas pump over here as well. So the backcountry guys will get gas on that pump. Or if people come in to get fuel, this is where they come to the end of the dock here and they can get fuel out here as well. Small boats go out front, bigger boats go out here. Diesel here. We're going to up to the top of the guide dock up here to the deck and uh, see what we see. There you go. The deck, we call it. Let's go see what we can see. Yay! Elusive carpet, here we come. 
All right, they're going tarpon fishing. You can see they got their bobbers up there. Look at them all. All right, city, come on. I'm gonna show you around the rest of the property here. The center building here, that's our main hotel building. There's a big unit upstairs, which is two bedrooms and a living room, a little kitchen. Then downstairs, there's four regular motel rooms as well. Above the tackle shop, that's a little suite up there. We call it a tackle shop suite. They got a deck up there. They can look over the bay and to the ocean. There's a bird there. <laughs> oh. And if you ever make it to Bud and Mary's, make sure you read the sign. This is why, a quote from Theodore Roosevelt. Right there. Great to read every time you go on the boat. What we got over here, little whippersnappers? Uh, frog legs. Frog legs? Yeah. These guys got frogs. Yeah. You never know what you're gonna see these guys cleaning. That's Connor there. You may recognize him from the 757 video, throwing the dart in that big swordfish. Yeah. Only time he's ever fished with me. He never wanted to go again. It'll happen one of these days again. So it'll happen one day. One day, one day. All right, Sadie, come on. So these are more of the offshore charter boats right here. Yeah. These are the motel rooms here on the bottom. And then up top is what we call the penthouse, which has got a nice little deck up there too. This is the boat I actually grew up running charters on. The B&M, which stands for Bud and Mary's right here. You can see that. There it is. It's a 34 foot Crusader twin diesel. And I spent about six, seven years on that running it. I used to be the least expensive charter boat here. And this is one of the oldest, slowest boats, but the tides have turned and now I got the Freeman and charge an adequate amount. Old Faithful though, right there. Lenny gave Sadie Cheetos of all the things to give her. You're gonna have orange everywhere. That's my brother's boat right here. He's got a 25 foot contender bay boat. I'm gonna try to go fish with him and do a video. I have not fished on his new boat since he had it last year. So these are some of the houseboats that we rent out right here. Um, we got four of them right now. This is what we call the Aqua Lodge. You can see the name. That's the Mama Linda over there. That's the biggest. This is the Lucky Lady. This is the Sailfish houseboat. So if you wanna kind of stay here and do something cool, instead of getting a regular motel or hotel room, you can stay right on the water here, watch the sunrise out there. You got tarpon swimming around at your feet. Just kind of a neat atmosphere and wake up, jump on these boats to go fishing and you're out there in no time. If you want to stay on any of these houseboats or book a fishing charter here, you know, see the boats, the different lodging options, just go to the website, budandmarys.com and you can see all the accommodations that we got here. These are more rental boats out here, um, which is Alamara Water Sports is their company. They've got usually seven or eight rental boats here to choose from. You can reach out to them directly to book a trip. We got the early bird out here, the last charter boat. And a couple of these slips, these are for transient boats. Um, you know, boats that come stay for a month or two or even just stay for a few days if you wanna come down and go fishing. So this is the barn at Bud and Mary's. This is the front entrance. I'll show you the side entrance in a minute. This used to be a boat storage barn. We have not had boats in here in probably seven or eight years now. And uh, Hurricane Irma really took a toll on it. I'll show you a few pictures from that now, but it just destroyed everything that was in here and really gave us a clean slate. So, you know, it's hard to see the silver lining a lot of times when a natural disaster or terrible event happens. But, uh, you know, Hurricane Irma was a little over two and a half years ago now, I guess. And this is what we got now. So all pavers. We got a few storage units in here for our personal stuff. And we've done a few weddings in here already. At nighttime, it really lights up, looks good. I'll show you a few pictures from some weddings right now that have been done in here. Right on the ocean, you know, you got a little beach here as well. The good thing about this is if it starts raining, you got coverage. We're gonna get some windscreens made so we can drop those down, block out the wind as well when it's really windy. But this is right on the water here. You know, you got a nice little beach. Sadie's over there. Right here on the ocean, you got alligator lighthouse, tea table key over there. You got your houseboats, your other houses over there. and Not a bad place to be. There's Jeffrey. You got science, there's no trust there you go. Right. Come on, CD. So this is the barn at Bud and Mary's. You saw that dinner I did with deer meat for dinner in here and land shark outdoors. We grilled it up, put a couple tables in here and you know, hung out, spent the evening here. So we're on the east side of the property now, northeast side. Got a couple houseboats back here. This is Sarah's boat over there. That's when we always go crabbing on. And these are two more rental houses here. So if you come here and want to go fishing, you can stay here. This is what we call the oceanfront house right here. This is actually where I grew up at when I was about age 10 to 20. I lived here with my dad and my brother and my stepmom. Little three bedroom, two bath, you no know, Florida Keys house, concrete, tile floors. And back there we got the conch house, that greenhouse back there that you can see. But we got a little beachy area here, a couple more houseboats. 
Some of our employees live on these right now. If you're coming down to fish in the Keys, stay here, hang out. You might like it. Come on, Sadie. I'm gonna go up front here and show you the front here. That greenhouse right there, that's what we call a conch house. That's a little rental here as well. So if you're fishing, you can stay right there. This is the dive shop. This is Key Dives. So that's a separate business than us, but uh, they've been here a long time and really great people, Mike and his family and employees. So this is the outfitter store right here. I'll show you inside in a second, but uh, we got a ton of pelagic gear. The dive shop Key Dives is right there as well on that side. And you can see all this in here. So there's a picture of my first Freeman right there. The old broad-minded, the original. Let's go check it out inside. Mostly pelagic gear in here. We got some Yeti stuff and then a lot of Bud and Mary's clothing as well. So tons of shirts, tons of hats. You know, if you're going fishing, want to get something here. Got stuff for the ladies over here. And we got board shorts, long pants, sunglasses over here. Lots of clothing to choose from, tons of hats. A little bit of everything that you need. So a lot of Bud and Mary shirts, you know, stuff like that. So if you're in here, stop by, check it out. Also, there's an online Bud and Mary store. If you want to buy t-shirts and hats on it, you can go to the website there too. If you stop in the store here, look at a swordfish head. It's really cool. Dave Dacus did it for me a few years ago, but that's the actual bone there and the skeleton of a big swordfish that we caught over 400 pounds. But look at the eye socket, look at the gills, the mouth, everything. So that's pretty neat. This is the deli here, Galley Girls. If you want to get here and eat breakfast early, they open up at 6 a.m. You can also get lunch here. They make lunches to go plus serve lunch here. So if you come to the Keys, check us out. Bud and Mary's Marina, you can't miss us. Family business for a long time. Right there, you can see the sign. Big great white shark's been there forever, kind of landmark here. And hope you all enjoy that video. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. And we'll see you later. Hopefully we'll see you here one day fishing. And even if you don't want to go fishing, stop in, feed the fish, grab an ice cream, get a shirt. See what we're all about here. See the boats come in, what they catch each day.